Hey friends. Okay. <sighs> Let's do a little reading for you today. Okay, we're going to start off with the tarot. Mm. I'm seeing, okay, there's this energy of almost being your own worst enemy and wanting to give up when being completely overwhelmed. Um, but know that you can really sidestep this obstacle if you choose to make different decisions moving forward when something happens again, some kind of a repeated cycle. Um, although you might feel overwhelmed, try not to be your own worst enemy when it comes to feeling like you have to defend yourself in a way of being angry or speaking up for yourself like that because I just keep hearing second chance. Second chance is going to bring healing and some kind of a spiritual awakening for you to realize that you need to reevaluate your situation um, to be able to make decisions moving forward in a different way. But have patience with yourself, knowing that there really is going to be slow and steady progress. It's going to feel a little bit weird inside of yourself when it comes to trying to make a change and making different choices. But your angels are saying, put the effort in and do not give up, knowing that this is going to start to be a part of your routine when you start to respond differently and then people will start to see you differently in the way of who you truthfully are, the highest good of who you are. I'm also seeing a move or some kind of a some kind of a physical location change or a change of work that comes in. There's a lot of anxiety. There is a lot of worrying whether or not people around you are being honest. And there this even causes some sleepless nights with being so overwhelmed. Um so with business, your angels are mentioning there is a deceitful energy around you. So it's really important to keep aware of that deceitful energy. And if you feel like you find out something that this person has lied about, if it has to do with lying about your character, yeah, they're manipulative. They are very clever with the way that they try to switch stories around, but the universe sees everything. The universe knows everything. So although this person thinks that they might be holding you back by speaking up about how they feel about you or things that they think they know about you, it's actually going to hurt them in the process, not realizing it's like they're going to stay where they are thinking that they're leveling up. But in reality, you're going to move on to something new within work. I'm seeing a leap of faith towards a new beginning and you're going to have the actual success that pisses this person off. So judgment from past actions, making a different decision when finding out someone's lying again or being deceitful behind your back different decisions you might feel like disconnected from yourself and feel like I have to speak up I have to say something you absolutely can but always from grace and always from love you don't always have to like kiss ass with people you don't have to be super kind to people who are not kind to you that's not what I'm saying but you can also be professional and it's like if you are if you lash out at these people it brings a feeling of like oh my god I need to reassess myself like what's wrong with me when having to react like that but then it's like there's another mindset where it's like yeah but it's the other person's fault it's their fault that they're treating me like this but you know that's not necessarily the case although it's their fault they're treating you like this 333 on the timer you have the power with how you react to the situation and you will get rewarded if you bring a new cycle into this situation instead of trying to repeat a past cycle Whew, this is a heavy ass energy, you guys. Let's see if there's anything specific that can come out. Yeah, there's a, wow, there's a massive change in transformation from the way that you used to respond to who you're finally becoming. It's like somebody who used to like, you used to be an inchworm, but now you, you have wings and you're a fucking butterfly. You know what I'm saying? Things are going to start to change in the way you respond. And when they do, you're going to feel a lot better about yourself, more confident about yourself and the decisions that you make. And you will start to manifest a lot better opportunity. That's going to be others karma. I'm also hearing that you might um, have to help someone when it comes to health. I'm hearing they're going to ask you for some kind of um, possibly help with taking care of them or um, I don't know why I'm seeing someone's heart like needing to pick things up up the stairs um, what, or some kind of a like a whatever medical procedure 445 on the timer. There might be this feeling like nobody cares. There might be this feeling of 
Others are so cold hearted and you might receive some kind of a struggle situation feeling very frustrated about this, but it's only a temporary setback. It's like another lesson. How, the, how, do you, how can you respond? What can you do with controlling this situation? Because what you have been doing is always being so selfless, always putting other people forward. But at the end of the day, your angels are saying you need to hold yourself back from always giving and giving and putting other people first because it holds you back. And when it holds you back, it causes sleepless nights, insomnia, stress, just being overwhelmed. Why don't people care about me the way that I care about them? Don't expect other people to care about you and give you the love that you feel about them. Just trust that you are manifesting people in your life who appreciate you. And these are going to be exciting new people and experiences that are, are respect receptive and respective uh respected um respecting of your energy whatever the fuck the word, word is um you definitely need more people around you who are willing to give as much you, as you're willing to give but know that just because people don't give back to you the universe is going to be able to give you an ability to even have the money to pay for somebody to help you health wise whatever this is you're not going to have to worry Although people aren't giving it back to you, God is going to give it back to you. You're just going to have to trust the process. But part of part of this is learning to hold yourself back from giving too much to other people because it really does cause a lot of trouble, a lot of fights, a lot of narcissistic individuals and energy. It's like you attracting that energy and having it be a repeated cycle because you're so willing to help and you are so you're so giving you're so kind but this has finally come to an ending it's time for you to focus on you and you to be happy and to bring in a new beginning here okay because this is this has been a situation that causes a lot of tension in your life um other people if they're not gonna love you the way that you love them they're not deserving of your energy and that's that it's going to be a lesson from here on out when you realize this person or people don't care about you or don't don't treat you the way that I'm not saying they don't care about you. But if they it seems like they don't care and it seems like they're not acting towards wanting to help you the way that you would be willing to help them, um, you're going to finally see the truth. So although you'll be upset, it'll be like some kind of like should have had a V8 type thing or you should have known. But you wanted to give this person the benefit of the doubt because of how soft of a soul you truly do have there is air sign energy here as being significant so that is gemini libra or aquarius i'm also seeing fire sign energy so that is gem oh, little, 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 that's sagittarius um that is sagittarius aries or leo what the fuck is going on with my brain i had a brain fart 55 on the timer here they probably just wanted me to focus on the timer but i love you guys so much if you'd like to book a reading with me or purchase one of my tarot decks you can go to my website chelseamgomez.com and then this one was my series five but i love you guys so fucking much i don't know what i would do without you where i would be <gasps>